So I want to talk about capacities, which is an alternative to Notion to kind of give you an idea of what the app's about and if it's the right app for you. So this is the website for capacities. It's capacities.io. And I want to talk about three things in terms of capacities and maybe how it's different than other PKM apps. So I'm going to talk about objects or types of notes that you create with capacities. I'll talk about the calendar and I'll talk about spaces. So the way capacities works is, and it's a little bit of a novelty, but the idea is that every single type of note that you create must be a type of object. So you can see in this image here from the website, this is how a standard, so a standard app will look at documents. All documents are the same. And with capacities is that everything is a specific type of note. You could have one for books, you could have one for quotes. And you'll see on the sidebar here, these are all the objects I've created. Again, objects are types of notes. You have the daily note, which is kind of a default and central part of capacities. You have, I have projects here, I have pages, which is sort of more of a generic type of a note. I have recipes, I have weeks, so if I'm doing goals, I have one for weeks, I have tags, trips I'm taking, ideas, zettles, people, quotes, and these all are different types of notes and they also can have a different layout. So this is what projects looks like in capacity. So if I click on my half marathon, you'll see if I zoom in on it, it's kind of like a standard note, but you'll see how much different that is from something like a Zettle. And my Zettle, you can see the layout is a little bit smaller. It's using what's called like an index layout. And if I go into Zettle, you'll see I scroll down here, I can actually change the page type from standard, which is what I had for my projects, to index, to a profile, or to an encyclopedia. And these are just nice ways to look at different types of objects. So for people, so if I go to people, I have one person here, my brother here, you can see I have this like nice side panel picture of my brother, and then I can add some more properties here, maybe who's, who he's related to, um, I have some information here, but this is what the profile picture looks like. So each object can be have its own specialized layout, and there's four options for capacities. What I really like about the idea of objects is that in something like Notion, you can get lost in all the different types of notes you've created, where capacities you have to create when you create any sort of note, you have to think about what type of note am I creating? And I really like the idea of this when it comes to retrieval and I start searching for something. So if I look for, let's say a tag, that first one is a tag because it's labeled that way. Or if I'm looking for a project that says bears on it, it's gonna be a project or an idea. So in terms of when you do organize things by objects, they're sort of easier to find later on because if you're looking for something, you're thinking of what type of note is it first before you start thinking about what the contents is in that specific note. So I like the idea of objects and the fact that it helps you understand what you're searching for. And I like how Capacities labels the different objects in its search queries. The second part about Capacities, which is central to the app is the calendar. So if I go into calendar here, Again, everything really kind of lives on this side panel here. I think in something like Notion, you don't need to use a side panel, but the side panel for capacities, it's sort of central to how to navigate the app. So this is the calendar here. Again, pretty major concept for capacities. You don't need to use it, but I think it is sort of a, a pillar of the app. And really the idea is every note is an object and every object also has time associated with it. So anytime you create any specific note, it's going to have a date property included in it. So you can find when you created that. I think this is probably the, the same in all apps now. This is standard, but like capacities really puts us in sort of the, the front of the app. So this is what the daily note looks like. Really common in PKM apps now where you can do a daily note. I have a template here of kind of the big three things I'm, I'm doing this week. So I can check this off and say, film this video. It even like has the projects I'm working on right now. So I'm training for a half marathon. And then the nice thing about the calendar is anything you, anytime you create anything new on that day, it'll tell you. So it'll give you kind of a timestamp. So created today, I created a couple of notes here. This is the, the video outline that I'm filming right now. I created something, I have two tags I created about space and productivity, a couple other notes here. And again, it's telling you what the object was, which I think it just looks visually very, very nice. So if I can click on here on space, and it'll take me to this space tag on Europa, which I created today. And if I go into tags, tags is sort of a standard object that Capacities comes with. Again, I love using tags. Another thing I don't like about Notion is you can't, tags are native. Also images is something that comes in with Capacities. Anytime you 
have an image, it automatically saves it into this object called images. And these images are attached to specific objects. So that's how they're connected. Now capacities also has a graph view. So I have this note about the bears here. And if I click on graph view, you'll see how this bears node is connected to other things. And usually when I'm talking about the bears, I'm talking to my brother. So you could see right away, there's a connection between time and my brother here. I'm sure as I build out my notes, there'll be more connections between the topic of the Chicago Bears and my brother. And the last thing with capacities that which I think is, is really done nicely is spaces. So spaces are areas of your life. So I have one for personal and then I have one for work so I can go into work. This is completely different in terms of a workspace compared to my personal notes. So these aren't connected at all. It's basically a, a separate system, but I love the way Capacities handles this in a really simple and elegant manner. I can just press one button here and I'm in my personal and I click it again. I am back into work. Notion has this feature, but I think it takes like four clicks to get to switch between your different workspaces. So I like the idea of spaces in Capacities. I like dividing my notes up to, into personal and work, but I think you could also go even further, maybe family documents or notes you get from the internet. You can really have multiple spaces for different types of notes. And this might complicate it for some people because then they have to think about what space and then the object. But I think in terms of retrieval, if you have an organized system where you have different spaces, then there's a better chance of searching for something and finding what you're looking for. I find that as your, whatever app you use, as the notes pile up, it gets much harder and harder to find that specific note. So I think that could be a way to divide up the different types of notes that you create into different spaces. So that's a quick look at capacities. I really like it. I think I'm gonna be switching over from Notion. Uh, I've used a bunch of PKM apps. I think you probably have as well. It's kind of never ending. But right now I'm really enjoying capacities. Hopefully I'll stick around, but let me know what any questions you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself and I'll see you guys in the next one.